Hey guys, hope you are all well. We are extremely happy to announce that we have today Danielle Parsico with us. She is by profession lawyer in Italy and she is going to join us. And we are going to have detailed discussion on the impact of COVID-19 in Italy. The main key points around which our discussion will revolve are the economy, education, employment and health, etc. So let's begin our session with Daniel Pasico. Hello. Hi, Ash. How do you do? Hello. Hello. Hi, Daniel. Ayash. We are extremely happy. Hello. Very nice yeah. to meet hey, you. Hi, Daniel. We are extremely happy to have you on this evening. Yeah, we do. It's a pleasure for How me too. You? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Um, please, Ash. I don't. Uh, I don't hear you very, very good. We can make the uh, audio better. Okay, let me check what is happening. Yes. I hope everything you are is so fine young. Yeah. You are so <laughs> <laughs> very, very glad uh, to see not, you in person after yeah. so long talking now with you. Now you can hear me? Now better. Hello. A little better. Okay, okay, great. So now let's begin. Ah, before beginning, I would like to say say hello for, to your mother and your husband from my side. Absolutely, absolutely. I I will do it for you, to my mother and to my husband too. <laughs> now I okay, am working. I am not in my home now, but I am working. But it's all right. <laughs> okay. Well, what about, uh, what about you? What about uh, your doing today? Is is all good for you? Yeah, it's everything is good, and right now we are still in lockdown, and uh, I don't know how long it is going to. Uh, we really hope uh, that everything would be fine in a while, but the situation in uh, worldwide is very, very difficult. I'm afraid. Yes, we are hopeful. <laughs> yeah, so, so nice, really nice. Huh? Oh. Um, uh, as we have seen, that uh, there has been around 27 COVID-19 deaths in Italy so far. A number a second only to that of China, where the pandemic originated. The situation was so grave at one point that medical staff was reportizing for all forms of survival. And struggling against the pandemic, Italy announced a series of stringent measures aimed at controlling the spread of COVID-19. The national lockdown announced on 9th March banned everything from shops except pharmacies and food materials to straws in bars and all non-essential economic activities while it's faced jail time and up to three months at heavy fight. So Daniel, I would like to ask, what is the current situation of Italy? Well, um, I'm not sure I have heard you so well, but I am supposing that you're asking me about the situation of COVID and the yes, yes. Uh, economic consequences in my nation. Uh, first of all, very nice to be here. A very pleasure to be invited by you, and I'm very glad to can talk with you and uh, your audience about the situation of COVID in my nation. My nation, of course, is, is Italy. Italy is uh, one of the most important economic uh, country in the world, but unfortunately, it was uh, the second country in the world after China to be plagued by this uh, terrible sickness, and uh, we are fighting against. The this situation uh, officially at the start of March uh, 2020, but of course uh, the situation is getting uh, worse during uh, February or maybe even dur during uh, January or maybe uh, 
at December 2019, as the scientists are telling us now. Well, after March the 10th, uh, Italy government, in the person of our Prime Minister, uh, Professor Giuseppe Conte, that is a very famous uh, lawyer here in Italy, uh, decided to um, lock down uh, first uh, Milan and Lombardia, this is the region in, in which uh, all the situations start for talking about Italy, and then our, all our nation. Uh, this terrible situation uh, was uh, absolutely necessary because at the very first of these, uh, very first beginning of these uh, contagious, the contagious was uh, really heavy, and uh, everyone was uh, very, very worried about the public uh, health. And so I quite sure that uh, there was the unique, uh, the unique uh, option we have to. But after two rather two months, because uh, in uh, May the tenth uh, we will be uh, locked down for two months, you know. Uh, the situation of the economy of, Ita of Italy, that of course is one of the most important economic places in the world. Uh, we are in uh, G20, but also in G8. And so we are a very important um, uh, economic. Uh, economic strength we have but this situation is getting us uh, in a terrible terrible way and uh, even our partner politically and economic partner the uh, European Union are uh, looking uh, at us uh, with uh, some suspicious because uh, the situation uh, of Italy uh, before the lockdown wasn't so good at all and so two long months of lockdown uh, are getting the, the thing, uh, of course, worse. Uh, we are uh, waiting. Uh -huh. Please, please tell me, tell me. Uh, yeah, I would like to ask you, what is the current situation? How, what are the governments have planned and how it is, how they are tackling it? I don't, uh, I don't hear you, so sorry. Oh, I am extremely very sorry. Oh, let me check if my internet connection is working. I hope that is easy. I, I think it is uh, a really delay of the connection. Let me check if the problem is from my end. Maybe you can write me on Messenger so I can read your, your question. What do you think about? Well, while I'm waiting for you, I uh, continue to talk. Uh, the situation is that we are waiting. Right? Can you listen this? to me right now? A, a little better, a little better. Okay. Uh, so, so I would like to ask, what is the current situation of Italy? Because previously we have uh, seen that uh, uh, around 1,000 dead uh, every day. So right now, I think the number is, uh, number is getting uh, lower day by day. So I would like to know what is the current situation? Yes, yes. About the, the, the sick people, you are you asking me? Yes. <clears throat> uh, very likely, the situation of the contagious is uh, get, getting better. It is getting better uh, in the center and the southern part of Italy. Uh, I personally live in uh, Naples. There is in the southern part of Italy, and the situation in my region, that is named Campania, is uh, very, very well. Uh, we have lost, unfortunately, uh, 3,000 people, but, three, uh, sorry, 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 three, uh, three, 300 people, but uh, all Italy has, unfortunately, very, very unfortunately, lost uh, more than uh, 27,000 people. And so my region is very, very like to have lost only 300 one, all right? But in the northern, northern eastern part of Italy in uh, four regions that are named Lombardia, uh, the district of Milan, uh, Veneto, the district of Venezia, uh, Emilia Romagna, the district of Bologna, and um, Liguria, the district of Genova, the situation is not under control yet. 
uh, we got many many sick people and uh, two two died one and uh, even if the situation is getting better about the uh, rate of contagiousness uh, that uh, our scientists and uh, worldwide scientists uh, is telling this is important thing uh, to to get the, the the rate zero of contagiousness all right uh, is uh, we are approaching even in this uh, northern region the situation there is not that good and so uh, just today just today a few hours ago uh, our prime minister professor giuseppe conte um, uh, talking about uh, talking with the, the parliament and the deputy of the chambers uh, we've got two chambers, Par uh, Camera dei Deputati and Senato, all right, two chambers, two different chambers in our parliament, uh, talking with these uh, representatives of the Italy population, he is uh, supposing that uh, maybe we can have different lockdown for different regions. But this, uh, uh, at this moment, this is uh, only an hypothesis, but we are waiting for a new uh, a new law to come uh, that will uh, change something for uh, May the 4th in a, in a week. In a week we have uh, some other regulation and maybe as uh, Giuseppe Conte and us uh, this morning uh, this uh, regulation would be different from uh, another part of Italy uh, and uh, other parts uh, just like central and southern part of Italy but I think this is quite strange because you live in India if I don't uh, remember no, no, yes I remember okay. well Yes. Well, well, India is a very huge country, you know. Italy is yeah. a little one. It's a little one. Yeah, I know and because uh, India has a population of around 135 crore. Uh, yeah. And uh, I, Italy, I think, if I'm not wrong, it is around seven, uh, 70 million, right? Uh, it is all right. And, and so uh, we are so little, and we got only 60 million of uh, citizens. So. Uh, the idea of uh, divide us in different region it's good for me because of course i really want to be free of uh, working and go anywhere i want but italy is one and so i really want that italy has to be one just like the world is just like one <laughs> this thinking what about it? Huh? What we say that uh, if India, our prime minister has taken the best step, which is uh, he has taken the uh, he has put in the lockdown previously, which is I think that is the best decision because uh, if uh, virus get spread in that much population, I don't think it is uh, it can be controlled. So right now in India we have around thirty thousand uh, COVID nineteen patient. I think which is extremely if you take the ratio, I think which is uh, is still under the control. So, Dinin, I would like to ask you what is the current situation, how the students who are going to school, how the schools are teaching them and uh, is uh, schools are, uh, I hope, yeah, I'm sure that schools are closed. So, is the studies is going on online or something they have some, any model they have chosen? If I'm so sorry. I'm very difficult to hear you because sometimes uh, the, the connection is getting luck so i hear yeah, i, I was, watch it I you perfectly it. the the, vi yeah. the video connection is wonderful but sometimes your voice get down and so i don't understand you <laughs> okay let me let me repeat again yes. if you can listen uh, i would like to ask uh, what are its impact on education ah all right all right all right education Ah, mm -hmm. the situation about education here is getting more and more complex because uh, here in Italy, of course, we got uh, a very good connection of uh, the, the web uh, services, uh, very, very spread uh, in any region, all right, but not only, not all the population uh, has a very, very a great access. involved. Uh, yes. I really think that uh, the young people in your country are more and more uh, getting in. Uh, yeah, yeah, extremely true. No? Are you thinking so? No, no, you are, correct. you are correct. 
Ah, all right, all right. Uh, because yeah. here in Italy, um, otherwise we got uh, maybe uh, wealthier, but sometimes we get so, so, how can we say, uh, not that in, in present. And so the, uh, the most difficult thing uh, that uh, uh, the, the youngest people who are uh, scholars are attending to online lectures is that not in any home we got personal computer or um, or pet or uh, telephone uh, or phone mobile or mobile phone uh, that we can use for so long time and I have to say that for the poorest uh, person, the poorest scholar, uh, the government uh, in uh, two weeks after the start of, a lock of lockdown has managed to, to give to this poorest person and poorest family uh, some devices in order to make the lessons more easier. But another thing that I absolutely have to admit is that the teacher also, also so the teacher and also the schools are, were not not prepared to do this absolutely not prepared to do this and they are very very afraid and very very worried about uh, the person and the scholars are getting to the ultimate and have to graduate to the end of the school this summer because of course uh, we didn't have uh, the exam uh, in person but only online and these things make me very very nervous even if I don't get uh, any any child uh, unluckily but I am very very worried about this because this person have to uh, start on September October uh, the, um, uh, the, the the upper the upper instruction university and I'm quite sure that the loss of the second half of this uh, last uh, year of uh, primary school is not that good it's not that good and uh, I am quite quite worried about the situation is not getting that so well because our prime minister and even the distraction uh, minister uh, the name I don't remember now so sorry for this uh, <laughs> I'm not convinced that the scholars can be again physically in the in the schools on the beginning of September. And so this is make me very, very anxious and nervous because I'm quite sure, and absolutely you know this, that it's true in every world worldwide, the destruction is the first thing to make a very, very luminous future. And yes, absolutely. Uh, and uh, Lillian, I would, as, uh, yes. yeah, as I, will, I know that you are by profession, you are a lawyer, right? Yes, yes. I, I was a lawyer. Oh. I was graduated yeah. in law and I was a lawyer for 80, 80 years because unfortunately I am almost 40, so I am very old. <laughs> for, for 80 years, I was a lawyer, civil lawyer. Now I am only a consultant because I switched my career to be a consultant and, uh, as a lawyer and, of, and above all to be a PR and uh, an SMS uh, uh, and a strategic communication on the offline person. But uh, now I am also doing a lawyer consultant, uh, lawyer as a consultant for uh, okay. employers. So uh, are all the courts and all the um, means all are the Court complex are still shut down, or they are doing something online or something. Um, well, the situation about the justice right now, it's also quite. <laughs> I really don't want to be so pessimistic, but I have absolutely to tell the truth to you. I have to, and the situation about justice in Italy is getting getting very very complex. We have telematic uh, jury so long time ago, but this is only on chart because uh, telling the truth, the lawyers and the judge and all the publisher and the officer about uh, law are not prepared at all. And so our lawyers, uh, even civil, even panel ones, are uh, attorney at law, you know, um, are very arguing. Uh, 
in order to don't uh, celebrate any projects uh, without the presence uh, in the in the camp, uh, in the court you know they don't want absolutely don't want to celebrate online uh, online cards because they don't think that we are quite uh, prepared to do this and yeah, i am afraid and i am afraid that they are in right i don't know it I don't know and not that sure because as I have admit uh, I don't be a jury law uh, lawyer so sorry uh, for uh, four hours for four uh, years and so maybe something is getting better after my leaving of the jury the court no but I'm quite quite sure that the other colleagues the other lawyer the other attorney at law that are very very arguing with the minister of justice you know uh, are in right because i'm quite sure that they want to celebrate the, the cart they really want but if they tell we can't i'm quite sure we really don't <laughs> we can't we can't but uh, the government is setting some solution because of course we can't also do not uh, celebrate any jury it's impossible. Yeah, absolutely it's correct. Impossible. Because what I think that many people also don't have the access of good connection and don't have this uh, digital gadget and all uh, and all the proceeding which uh, can be done inside the court complex, I don't think can be done online. So of course, I of course. To... I, I, I know that you are very involved in law because you are studying and your family is doing something like that. All right. And so you have the gut sensibility to understand this dynamic. And this dynamic are very, very important. This is not a formal question. This is not only a formal question. This is a substantial yes, uh, question correct. about uh, the defense of the duty, all right, but also the the right of the person the right of our uh, of our client you know and another thing that is very important and uh, we have to settle this question out because for the uh, investors international investors it's very important to know that here in italy we can uh, of course uh, have uh, a, a normal situation about the contract because um, the international investors, even before, <laughs> don't uh, don't have so so good uh, reputation about Italy laws, no, and the Italy uh, process. And if you are lacking this uh, certainness of the rights in this moment, we uh, can lose very very important opportunity because in this time in this terrible time with widespread the most important thing is to get the opportunity if we got some opportunity and so i really hope also this situation getting well i'm so so sorry yeah, to be so pessimistic but i have to tell the truth and the truth is that the situation we are managing this all right we are getting managing this but the situation is very very delicate and so, hi, Daniel. Uh, well, so we are moving to our next question. That is, uh, uh, what do you think? Uh, how does COVID nineteen uh, pandemic is affecting the life of rich people and poor people differently? Yeah, I think that is a very important one. Uh, it's a very important. It's a very difficult question to answer about. Uh, but even this, uh, in this question, I have to tell the truth, and the truth uh, is that the bias about the rich and poor one, of course, is getting larger. It's getting larger. Uh, the, the rich persons, of course, they get angry, uh, they get nervous, they get uh, in exities for this situation. All right, <laughs> they have uh, all the right to do it. I have all the right because, of course, I am a privileged one. All right. I don't want to to talk about the poor one as I am one of the of them because uh, it would be you no know, a good uh, a good work and good to to start for me. But because I was in my whole story, in my whole personal story, but uh, even uh, a very important part of my family are very very involved in human rights, I have to settle with poor ones. 
and the situation for poor ones is getting very, very, very difficult because uh, the Italy government uh, said that many, many, as, as we can do, many, many incentives for the poorest people. But this incentive that are managed by our Previdential uh, Association that it calls IMPS, uh, I N P S, all right, IMPS, uh, are very, very slow to arrive. Very so slow I to arrive. To know, and so the, the... Yeah, I want to know Please. what are the, is, is, is the is government is taking any step to feed the poor people, means the people yes, who yes, are yes. daily and uh, theoretically, theoretically, <laughs> we are we are fed these people with many many incentives because uh, uh, they have the right to have uh, sixty uh, six hundred euros a month for three months, That's and uh, if they got anything, but uh, if they they were working and the the employers. Uh, uh, is forced to be closed for a while. Uh, the Italy government set uh, uh, an important instrument that is called Cassa Integrazione. It is a financial set to the entrepreneurs to continue to paying uh, their uh, depend dependence, all right? And this uh, instrument is. Uh, it's effective, but also these instruments that uh, consents to the entrepreneurs uh, to be uh, paid uh, to, one moment, these, uh, mm -hmm. these instruments, Cassa Integrazione, uh, gives to the entrepreneurs the 80% of the bills of here dependence, all right? And so the government pays the dependent of the entrepreneurs, of the private entrepreneurs, telling uh, very, very fast. But, but the truth is that the Casa Integrazione of March is not coming yet. And we are got at the end of the April. So this situation is getting very, very, very complex. The situation is good because Italy was a an healthy and wealthy country. But, we were a little wealthy, <laughs> not that healthy, <laughs> not that. But of yeah, course, right <laughs> we can understand this because we can make a comparison even with the United States of America. The United States of America, now they are getting to uh, 20 yeah, million of these white people. I have it's a data of today, around 50,000 uh, uh, deaths they have. No, 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 not that no, people. No, 1.6 million. Not that people. And, uh, mm. 20, 25 millions of disoccupied, uh, unoccupied people, unoccupied in the USA. And so even, uh, even when the United States of America are getting involved with this terrible crisis, you can even imagine what about Italy. Yes, uh, the United States of America, yes, United States of America uh, starts with this situation later than us because we got on uh, March the 10th, uh, as I mm. previously told you. But the situation is getting terrible, just like for the terrible, the terrible loss of people that you have uh, already mentioned. That is a huge, huge, huge tragedy because economic uh, issues are very important, as we all know, and we are talking about this, of course. But the drama we are living in, the drama we are living in is the terrible, the unimaginable numbers of that we are all paying. And it is the first things for me. But the second is to protect <laughs> as I can, because I can do anything, all right. But is uh, thinking, is thinking, not to protect, but thinking about the first one. Because we got to be united, united to stand up and to fight this terrible sickness. And so. <laughs> uh, so, Daniel, what do you think? What are the best steps uh, government has taken to tackle this situation? Uh, well, I, like? uh, uh, well, although I said so, so many critical uh, thinking about the situation, I really mm -hmm. don't think that our government is getting uh, bad in this situation. Because this situation, we have to admit, that was uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. And uh, even if China, at the start of January, tells something to us, telling tell something else 
uh, we really don't understand, we all in the world really don't understand the meaning of the uh, declaration of rights. And so uh, the, the, the settlements of the uh, Italy government uh, was the best they can do. I am very, very worried about the, the so-called so uh, phase two. We are approaching at phase two. Mm -hmm. The phase one, the phase first, uh, oh, maybe we manage it well because it was the newest. It was uh, suddenly appeared. The problem suddenly appeared, and uh, the situation was dramatic at the first of this thing, at the appearance of this thing. All right, but now that maybe we are approaching to the second phase, the fa the phase two, uh, fast second uh, phase two. We, we call it in Italy phase due. I am getting very, very worried about this because now it's time to do something. In the first phase, we have to stop to take, play, take time and place to do the good thing and, of course, to be locked in, of course. But now I'm not quite sure that we can open. I'm not that quite sure because the scientists, the scientists that unfortunately are not <laughs> that uh, that unified. Yeah, we have to say worldwide and above all in the European uh, European uh, area, they are not that so unified. And we have to say one thing: Germany has uh, opened something, but only in two days the contagion rate get up and so they close something i really don't want to open something and then to close everything again and so uh, talking about the the, the things we we previously mentioned about the latest declaration of giuseppe conte of this morning no uh, to open some region and close someone, maybe in this point of view, it can be maybe the wisest. I don't understand it very clearly because as I mentioned, Italy is so small. And so I don't Sorry, say um, any logical things in order to do this, but maybe if we in Southern Italy are getting well, maybe we can open something in order to avoid the economic tragedy we are living in mm, but economic, uh, yeah. hopefully Absolutely. hopefully and so uh, uh, the, the best uh, government has settled down i suppose that it is uh, to be optimistic and to uh, very often uh, say to the people we are all we are all one please stay cold stay safe and think about the health and the family love because you in your country are uh, in a certain sense lucky because you know what is the important thing family and health here in the, yeah, in the, the occidental part of the world we lost sometimes we lost sometimes the importance of family we lost and yet, mm, yeah, now we well, remember people. about that. Now we are remember about that. About family, not that much. <laughs> and so. Uh, so I would like to ask, uh, what do you think? What will be its after effect? Uh, suppose that uh, if uh, it gets worse, and then, then what will effect it will show? Please repeat. <laughs> okay, okay. So what do you think? What understand. will be its after effect? Ah, yes, yes. Well, after this, uh, first of all, we have to overcome the situation. Yeah, <laughs> and we are not important. sure that you know why we'll be. Uh, the observators, uh, international observators, have said and has to be overcome uh, as, uh, as the world, right? <laughs> not only Italy, uh, to overcome this situation in uh, about one year one year and a an half and so talking about after is a, a little yeah, optimistic i suppose uh, but uh, i have uh, studied uh, one week ago a very interesting study uh, that was uh, spread uh, from uh, 
McKenzie, you know, McKenzie is a very important consultant, uh, major consultant companies, uh, just like Accenture, mm -hmm. just like Sundan and Poor's, just like Fitch, right? But, well, uh, a feature that uh, just this uh, uh, this morning, it's very, it's very. We are very likely to to talk this uh, this afternoon because this morning <laughs> everything <laughs> come out. Well, uh, Fitch <laughs> has uh, underestimated Italy uh, rate of growth at BBB minus. It's not a good. Uh, it's not a very good uh, news for us. But um, not not talking about Fitch and Sanders and Powers, but uh, telling about McKenzie. McKenzie, the latest uh, the latest weeks uh, came out uh, with uh, came out with a very important study. In this study, uh, they were uh, imagining and uh, supposing uh, about the work. Uh, situation after COVID-19, all right, uh, in the European era above, uh, above all, but uh, they mentioned even your country and so the sub-Asiatic uh, uh, part of the world and even a little bit of the uh, situation of the United States of America. Well, uh, talking about only the European area, uh, they suppose that uh, many, many sectors will be uh, we'll be really, really get uh, down we'll about the situation. Well. Yes, touristic one and uh, restoration one uh, and uh, food, you know, and uh, and even something about construction. But they really think that uh, the people in between uh, 30 and 45 years that is my age, <laughs> that are very, very um, graduated and got a, a high grade of this action and they are doing intellectual uh, professions, uh, they can be reallocated in the workplace, in the work, uh, in the work marketplace. Uh, the other ones, uh, they think that the situation is not that good for them. Above all, if they are not very uh, got a good uh, a good duration of uh, instruction and so on, and they are re really really worried about the person over 55 years, and uh, very very. In a very, very strange way, they are also very worried about the workers under 25 years. That is a strange thing because sometimes uh, we usually uh, think that the situation about 19, 20, 19 to 25 years old uh, workers are the most privileged. And another thing that's very important, uh, they suppose, and even Bill Gates in another interview that he gave to Forbes uh, two weeks ago, I... I think this, yes, I think uh, two, two weeks ago, uh, they think, just like Bill Gates, uh, that the professions that are uh, connected to the net, uh, they will be very, very improved, very improved about this situation. So we are very likely. Yeah, absolutely. What I think that uh, after this, all, uh, all the countries will work on in their internet connectivity and medical, what I think, because that is the most important thing. Oh, yeah. uh, right now of course and it's very important because the net also make a very important occasion to meet people that can never be met Absolutely. in other person, <laughs> just like me and you and it's very very yeah. important i uh, we maybe if i can mention it uh, maybe we can uh, we have been uh, meet uh, thanks to google local guys is all right uh, me and you? yeah uh, yes, and I was in the program in uh, for uh, six years, right? Actually, uh, uh, yeah. Actually, I am working for Google Crowdsource, and I think you are for Google Guide. If I'm no, not wrong, no, no. Uh, Google Local Guide. Google, Google Local Guide. Google, guys. Uh, Google but just like a volunteer. Working, uh, but and just yeah, like same. a volunteer. I, I am working for Google Crowdsource. 
Uh, very good to know, very good to know. Congratulations to you. I was a volunteer to Google. I, I am also a volunteer, I'm a beta tester. And uh, as a social media strategist, i very, very pleased to be uh, get uh, get updated by Google himself, and it's very, very important to me. Uh, but uh, I was, uh, and I also do now, I was manage a, a community of local guys here in Italy, Naples, and another one in the southern part of Italy, in Sicily, uh, Catania, Catania and Sicily, Google local guys uh, community. Uh, and so oh, uh, this, this kind of situation is very, very important for us to meet some other person, some other culture, and to really yeah. understand if someone doesn't, didn't, get it, didn't get it, that the word is one. And if yeah, we the don't word is one, of course. That we need to be united. One. We have to. We absolutely have to. Yeah. But me and you now are. And so. Yeah. <laughs> well, and so I really think out. And also, as you have mentioned yet, the sanitary, the sanitary and the medical and the pharmaceutical professions are getting, uh, of course, uh, well, even if, even if I have to tell another terrible thing. I really hope this is the last <laughs> of this interview. <laughs> but here in Italy, uh, one uh, of the most uh, plugged, uh, plugged category of person was the yeah. medical and infirmary. And this is so, so, so sad because they really, really work for us and our health. And it's terrible that our government and our public uh, our public health because we get a very very important public health system we are uh, really really likely to have this it's not just like uh, the usa in the usa this situation is getting uh, it's yeah, getting, getting uh, very terrible. getting crazy it's getting crazy but mm -hmm. here in italy we got a very very important uh, sanitary system public sanitary one system and it's very very sad that our doctors and our infirmary I don't know, a nurse, our nurse, is getting sick and sometimes unlikely died for us. Yeah, I have uh, listened to the news that many of the doctors also get uh, died because of this. So, which is, I think, that is a very poor thing. It makes my heart, uh, it makes my heart smart yeah. because my father Same was here. a doctor. My mother, my father was a doctor, and my my uncle, the father, the the brother of my father, and even my grandpa, two grandpa, and even another uncle of mine in my mother's uh, line. All right, and so and I have to admit that I, when I was young, I want to be a doctor. Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I didn't uh, enter in the faculties, <laughs> and so I can be a doctor. But now I can say maybe it's the better. <laughs> maybe it's the better because mm -hmm. if I was graduated in uh, medicina, now I was uh, I were uh, in uh, in the hospital, you know, to fight yeah. the first line with this terrible, fight. terrible. Technology. But they are doing a very great job, which uh, I think uh, they should be given. They should be awarded for that. Oh. Thanks, thanks. You are so, so, so kind to me. I really hope, I really hope it's true, but uh, I'm doing my best. And so this is not. No, no, no. I'm not saying anything. To you. <laughs> okay, so yes. from here, our interview got uh, over. So if you would like to ask anything about me, then you can continue. Otherwise, uh, we can leave. No, no, I just want to, to make a question to you. Even me, I want yeah. to make a question. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I had just one. Yeah, and sure, really you can continue. You, you can listen to me uh, instead of me that I never hear you. Well, my question is, what do you think about the future of your generation in India? Uh, actually, what uh, we have seen that, uh, uh, as we have seen that, uh, India is always uh, keep uh, at uh, taking innovation and always involving uh, itself because uh, India is uh, still in developing nation. But uh, the thing is that uh, India youth are uh, very creative and very innovative. So I think that the, uh, the, the more we can focus on the information sector and medical sector, information IT sector and medical sector, that will be the future. That will be the great future for the India. And right you future, want to, yeah. and you want to I stay mean, in your country, or you think to to get out of your country? 
Uh, no, actually, job. that uh, actually that is not something because the main thing is that if I could do something great in that field, which could be accessible to any country, where uh, it doesn't matter. If, uh, suppose that if I have made something, uh, say any software, any something in my line, and uh, which is only accessible to my country, then God said it. I want to give something to, of course, that whole world. So it doesn't matter where I stay. It makes me very proud of you. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you. So, so you have to succeed. For yourself, your family, and above all, for your country. Thank you so much. Make yeah. India great again. <laughs> yeah, it's Make India great again. India is uh, great right now and was great uh, many years ago and will be great. Just like yeah, Italy, I suppose. I'm very afraid for my country. I'm very, very afraid for my country. But I really hope things get well. Don't worry, Italy too. Italy too. Well, and so, do you want to ask me something yet? Uh, because I have uh, completed my all question. So, if you want, you can ask. Uh, otherwise, I think now, we will, if we will get the time in future, we will keep uh, arranging this type of live session. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's something in the air while you're asking me a question because while you are answering to me i really listen to you very well but if you are asking me something i don't understand it's, it's so 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 strange okay okay let me ask again uh suppose that uh, means uh, from, from here i have uh, means updated all my question so if you yes. would like to ask any question, you uh, can uh, ask me. No, no, for this time, no. But I'm really, really glad uh, if uh, in uh, some months uh, we can meet us together uh, again. Yeah. In order uh, to course, make... Sure, sure. Uh, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, we we will try. chat each other uh, very, very open. But I really, really like to be another time guest in your, uh, in your stream. If you want, yeah, extremely, right. extremely. I would, I would also be happy to have you again. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful, and it is a promise. <laughs> and yeah, so, I really too. want to uh, to say hi to you and your audience. I really, really yeah. hope that okay, sure. next time we will see each other at uh, your wonderful channel. We can talk about only optimistic things and issues and yeah. maybe uh, we can talk and hope the situation we can will be better that that time. of course of course uh, they it have to be it has, it has to be it has to be yeah it, <laughs> Wonderful. it has to be yeah have a nice day okay, Hush. thank you you were very, very nice kind to me to you. <laughs> yes, I, thank you so much <laughs> bye uh, I can, how can I, ah, stop video, all right, <laughs> ciao.